Joining us now is Ken Cuccinelli. He is the founder of the uh, super PAC that is backing Ron DeSantis. Ken, thank you for being back here on the Hill on Good News day. Nation. That was a bit of the, the minute ad there. Um, the blowback. Right. Rick Grinnell, someone you know from Donald Trump's White House, the first openly gay yep. man to be a member of the president's cabinet, called it, quote, undeniably homophobic. Log cabin Republicans, 40-year group that has backed Republicans. Here's what they said, quote, Today's message from the DeSantis campaign war room is divisive and desperate. Conservatives understand that we need to protect our kids, preserve women's sports, safeguard women's spaces, and strengthen parental rights. But Ron DeSantis's extreme rhetoric go has just ventured into homophobic territory. Why did he go down this road, Ken? Well, first of all, I th think there's a division between the candidates here that is a legitimate point of discussion. And Ron DeSantis has been the leader in the country in fighting to protect women's sports, children from the sexualization. That's part of the agenda that he's fighting with this video here. And um, uh, the, the focus on y'all's discussion was the LGBTQ part of it, but the focus of the video, the majority of that video is about the transgender issue. It's about Trump's frankly advancing it over the oh, years and it, and, going and it's all the there, way back and there's, to when and there's he owned no the denying it yeah no it's 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 no it's it's there and people can watch the full thing for yourself for themselves but but Ken yeah. when when you got Rick Rennell and others calling this homophobic it's different between talking about the issues mm -hmm. and then going much further than that is it not and i guess that leads to the question is Ron DeSantis sort of going too far out there with this one so I understand the question. I don't think that he is. Um, the fact is, a lot of just the clip you played, this is Donald Trump, and he obviously doesn't agree, Ron DeSantis doesn't agree with those positions, um, whether it's the pageant or whether it's choosing bathrooms as opposed to letting people of one biology use one bathroom and so forth. And he's been very clear about that. And I think this this year, particularly with the corporate pieces, Target, Bud Light, and so forth, in June, that uh, closing out with this element of of the month, you know, you said closing Pride Month, but um, with this issue is perfectly legitimate, and it is one where Ron DeSantis stands apart from the field. So I don't completely agree with um, with Chris's. Uh, comment that this is fighting just in the Trump part of the Republican pool. I, I don't agree with that because Christie doesn't agree with this position, Haley doesn't agree with this position, and so forth. Uh, you can disagree or agree with them or think this went too aggressively or not, but Ron DeSantis is the leader on the leading cultural battle of our time. It's a spiritual battle, it's a cultural battle, and Republican voters care a great deal about it. And he is the, without question, leader on this issue, both talk, substantively and in the campaign. You talk about Ron DeSantis being a leader, you say, on this issue. Let's look broad, um, because Ron DeSantis has now been in the race, what, six, seven weeks, give or take, somewhere in there. Uh, according to the polling averages, Ken, when Ron DeSantis jumped into this week, he was at a, into this race, he was about a 20 and a half percent, still within the margin of error there, uh, at 23 and a half percent. Behind Donald Trump, you can still you can see he still trails sizably. A most recent poll from NBC News, Ron DeSantis is whether he's viewed positively or negatively. You can see there as more people have learned about Ron DeSantis, they seem to have a negative view of him. What's gone wrong here, Ken? Yeah. So first of all, that conclusion is the opposite of what we have found. We ran positive ads and tested them, the, the super PAC. And we found that unlike most other campaign situations, when people learn his history, working his way through college, being in the military and so forth, they like him more. Uh, when they learn the details of the policies he's implemented in Florida, they like him more. But you're, you're asking that question as if that's all that's going on. When the, the media coverage is overwhelmingly Trumpish, and um, and you know, that's a that's a major advantage for the former president. And there's you know, no you got, getting you got around Steve that. You got we have Steve to fight Cortez. our way through it. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.